He's Tyrod Taylor of the Buffalo Bills. He joins us on the program. Do you have uh, tattoos, Tyrod? Yes, I have a couple. How many? Uh, nine. Nine? <laughs> more <than a> <laughs> That's more than a couple. Okay, the, f- <laughs> the first one was what? Uh, it's a hand holding the globe that says Live Strong with Philippians 413 underneath it. How did that go over at home when you said, hey, I got a tattoo? Uh, actually, at the place that I went to, um, actually, I had to get my parents to sign, sign a uh, waiver <laughs> for it. How did that go <laughs> over when you said, hey, uh, Mom, I need you to sign this. I'm getting a tattoo. Uh, I mean, we talked about it for a while, but uh, we came to an agreement that I couldn't get any more um, until I turned uh, 20, so I waited till then. <laughs> and then you loaded up after that. <laughs> well, it wasn't all at one time. Uh, congrats on the win last night. Uh, how do you how do you feel physically after a game like that? I feel good. Um, it was a short week for us, um, so I had to knock off some of the soreness um, from the Miami game uh, throughout the weekend. Felt good last night. Uh, felt good coming out of the game. I think as a team we came out healthy, but uh, definitely a big win for us. What did you think when you uh, first put on the red uniforms? Uh, they were nice. I actually seen them uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, I like them. Um, I was surprised that they let me wear my white sleeves with it because they were saying it was going to be all red, but uh, I was thankful for that. But I like the look. It was probably pretty different. I heard it was kind of different for some people that are colorblind to watch that game. Well, uh, if you're colorblind, the reds and greens blend together and it becomes gray, so it looks like it's a scrimmage between two teams that are wearing gray uniforms. Yeah, I heard some people were complaining on Twitter um, about that, so that's interesting. Yeah, and I wonder if a quarterback, if a quarterback was colorblind and you guys had those colors last night, it might have been hard to play the game. But you're not colorblind, right? <laughs> I'm definitely not. Okay, <laughs> All right. just want just want to make sure. How was Rex before the game, and and was he different than an, any other game, considering he was going back to face the Jets? Uh, no, he was pretty calm. Uh, pretty much the same guy throughout the whole week. <clears throat> uh, we know it was a big game for him, and. Uh, he never made it about himself and something that you can respect uh, being that he's been with the uh, New York Jets for a couple of years. So he never made it about him. And uh, we went out there and played our game. And we knew, like I said, we knew it was a big game for him and wanted to get that win for him. But what do your friends say when, when they ask you about Rex Ryan? What do they want to know? Not teammates, but friends. I uh, just want to know how he is. Um, they see the, They see him in the media. They see him maybe jumping out of a plane on TV or something, but they just want to know how he is. And, I mean, he's a fun guy to be around. Uh, he relates to every player, and uh, he has a he does a good job of of making or uh, creating a, a fun atmosphere if we can come in and be ourselves. You're from uh, Virginia Beach, Hampton, Virginia, same area. Okay. Hampton, area. All right. Who uh, who did you idolize growing up? Uh. I watched. Uh, well, I grew up watching Ronald Curry, uh, Michael Vick, Colin Iverson, Aaron Brooks, uh, a bunch of those. Did you see Vick or Iverson play? Uh, in yes, I did. <clears throat> yes, I did. Okay, who was more amazing in high school? Or... Uh, actually, to be honest, Ronald Curry was probably the best high, uh, high school football player I've ever seen. Um, Vick was definitely. Very exciting to watch as well. Allen Iverson was, was very good, but uh, Ronald Curry, talking about a guy that had 100 touchdowns in one year. So, that's... <laughs> what, what did he go to Carolina? Yeah, he went to Carolina. He's now coaching receivers for the San Francisco 49ers. But did you model your game more after Curry than you did Michael Vick as a quarterback? Uh, they were similar, actually. Um, I mean, Ron, Ronald was a little taller, um, a little bigger, uh, but Vick was quicker. Um, he's always had that quick release. Um, so I definitely, you could say I definitely took parts of their game and uh, tried to model mine after, theirs, after them because, I mean, you grew up watching those guys and those guys made it to the pros and uh, played, it, played at a high level at the college level as well. So growing up watching those guys and them being from the area, you definitely try to take some of the things that they did. He's Tyrod Taylor, the Buffalo Bills quarterback, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. How how much did it help you to be with the Ravens where you're just observing for a couple of years? Uh, it helped a lot. Uh, definitely got a chance to learn from the coordinators. Um, learned a lot from Joe's play to my four years there. Um, learned a lot from the leaders in the locker room. 
uh, on a daily basis, just how they conduct themselves uh, and how they were true professionals. And uh, I just think it it made me a better player, made me a better person, but uh, definitely made me a better player. Do you wear your Super Bowl forty seven ring? No, I don't. I actually keep it back home at my mom's house. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually worn it to a function, but uh, it's definitely it's definitely nice to look at. Uh, you want to get more? I'm definitely fortunate that I, that I have that one, but uh, the goal is to get more. Does mom show it off? Nah, she doesn't show it off. Mom's pretty low key. Really? <laughs> yeah. Come on. I, I, I think it costs a lot, man. She can't lose that <laughs> ring. <laughs> hey, uh, congrats on the season so far, and uh, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you, Tyron. Uh, no problem. Thank you. All right, Tyron Taylor, Buffalo Bills quarterback.